Number four, give an example of each of the following types of solutions. And then we have a gas and a gas. Okay, so I have a chart here for the different types of solutions, but we just have to figure out which one corresponds with the gas and a gas. Well, the hardest part here is to figure out which is the solute and which is the solvent. However, in a gas, well, when you place a gas in a gas, right, both of them are the same uh, substance, not same substance, but they're the same state. So the gas, one of them has to be the solute and the other one has to be the solvent. And together, when they're mixed together, that would incorporate the solution. So in here, we're looking for both the solute and a solvent to be a gas. And if I look through it, it's the first one. This is when we're placing O2. The solute's always the smallest amount. So when O2 is in a lot of N2, that is the resulting air that we, you know, exist in, the atmosphere. Majority of the atmosphere is N2 gas. I believe it's like 75%, uh, roughly around. But this is what we need to breathe. But just know that that O2 that we breathe in is surrounded predominantly by N2 gas in our atmosphere. So we have air in which O2 gas is in N2 gas. And that is the final answer. There's an actual example. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there and keep studying hard, all right? I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.